That was a great episode of Adventures to Die, Dragon Quest. Pop was really, that outburst, like, I got it. But, he was really in his feelings, but it wasn't really so much focused on her as in himself. I mean, he had feelings about which mom said, ma'am said, but it was still kind of more focused on him trying to figure out himself, in a sense. Glad to see his new weapon can, like, do close combat now. Still think he might come up with a new spell. I might be wrong, but... Or new move, something. Die, his dream. It definitely... It was happy, but it also felt like a sad dream, too. And then the future girl was making the herbs. I understood what she said. Like, if the world's going to end, she might as well go out there and fight any way she can. She can see the future, too, so that could be... I think she knows something is going to happen and she's going to come in clutch. And then, you know, Mom and her trying to figure out herself and her feelings. I mean, the other girl knew how she felt and straight up told her look in high school. I mean, and Hayako kind of thought about it in the episodes back, too, when he was, was thinking about giving the up and stuff. So, it feels like that's already going to go. Here we go. And Mam is not even sure if she cares about Hayako, like, in a love kind of way. She definitely felt something, but she don't know if it's in that kind of mindset. <laughs> Pop wasn't feeling or hearing it. He was already emotionally distressed before, so. Everybody got new weapons. And we see next episode is going to be crazy because I look, looks like he's going through a... Uh, he probably gonna learn to control it, but he feels like a Majin Vegeta moment. Can't wait to see where we go.